sir, is this for that accident up there? Oh, thank God they're alive. Right. <laughs> when I passed by and I saw that car and they, the way they were loading onto the ambulance, I thought, oh, I was praying. I thought maybe they had died. Oh, yeah, they're, they're still good. They would, if, if she no, was have even to, in danger of dying, they wouldn't put her on a helicopter. Yeah, that has to be alive. Oh, yeah. So it's a woman? Yes, ma'am. That white car looked familiar to me. Well, but, uh, white SUV on and it's just one person? Yes. Thank God she's alive. I, f I was hoping maybe that's why you were blocking the road. Oh, yeah, and they came quick, too. They, like, it was faster than we had anticipated. Did, did they know? Where are they coming from? El Paso or Las Cruces? Right here in Alamogordo. In Alamogordo? Okay. Yeah, so when we told them to look, man, they, they just took off. They, they just take off, and then they'll take to El Paso? Yes, ma'am. Right, to the trauma center. Thank you, sir. Uh, just to let y'all know, as I was coming down Highway 82, right at High Rolls and Highway 82, a little bit beyond that, off in a ditch on the right-hand side, I saw a white car. Small white, as, he, as the sheriff, deputy sheriff said, it was a small SUV. I didn't actually see the person being loaded, what I saw as I passed as they were shutting the ambulance doors and the way the people were standing around, I was worried, what if this person is dead? Highway 82 is so dangerous. It's just a narrow winding road. And I don't know the reason for this particular wreck. It could have been an elk came out or a deer. On this road, especially people unfamiliar with the dangers, way too often people drive fast. My phone messed up somehow, so I have to voice over. Most of the speed limit is 45 on Highway 82 up in the mountains until you get to a section where it's 40 miles an hour. And of course, when you're entering Cloudcroft and through Cloudcroft, you slow down to 35 miles an hour. And I have people I'm going the speed limit and people are just zipping right by me and flipping me off as they pass me going the speed limit. If you can see that, that's an AMR ambulance. So that means that ambulance came up from Alamogordo. Um, the time between being injured and getting hospital treatment can be very long. and It's going to be long for this lady. I passed the wreck at 2.07. Once they actually lifted up off the ground to fly to El Paso, it was 2.43. 30 minutes maybe by helicopter before she'll actually land on the hospital roof and then she'll be taken in. And of course we don't know how long she had to wait until the ambulance arrived at her wreck. It was a one vehicle wreck. So if she had cell phone service and was conscious, conscious, perhaps she called it in, or perhaps a witness called it in. But this could happen to you if you get in a wreck on Highway 82 up in these mountains. Easily happen to you. Or if you're driving an ATV around in the forest, get in a wreck. Rural EMS response time is not city fast response time. It's quite slow. Most of the people are volunteers. They're just as well trained as a paid person, just as well trained. But people are not actually in an ambulance ready to just shoot out the door. They have to be called from their lives to then respond. And it's so rural up here and everything is so far apart up here. And Alamogordo has just the one small hospital that if you have any kind of injuries that require really better care than the small Alamogordo can, hospital can do, and that can easily happen in a car wreck along Highway 82 up in the mountains, or an ATV wreck if you're going to ride those, or God forbid, a motorcycle wreck. From the time of your injury to the time that you're in the hospital could be two hours, two and a half hours. Don't know. But often people are life flighted out because we just don't have the medical facilities here. So keep that in mind because what happened to this lady there before the grace of God could go any of us. Well, they just loaded her onto the air ambulance 
All I can tell is it's an older woman with gray hair. They're getting ready to take off. They'll take her to El Paso. That's the nearest level one trauma center in this area. Please drive Highway 82 carefully. As you can see, there's a lot of delay in getting treatment when something horrible happens out here. It's going to be a long time before she's at the hospital.